Dr. O'Hara's is so much different because it's fermented for three years. Most Western probiotics sometimes are fermented for one or two shifts, rarely even a week. But the Japanese ferment the product for such a long period of time because their goal is not to flood your colon with a bunch of probiotic lactic acid bacteria. Their goal is to flood your colon with organic acid and other biogenic byproducts which actually encourages your body to produce its own unique strains of lactic acid bacteria. You and I both have lactobacillus acidophilus. However, your strain is going to be different than mine because of our gender, because of our national heritage, because of what we eat, because of our blood types. This all affects the lactic acid bacteria in your colon. There are hundreds of different strains in there, so it's better to produce your own strain than it is to try to flood it with a foreign strain, which then activates your autoimmune receptors. Um, your B cells and others will try to kill whatever is coming in when they try to determine if the incoming product is of self or not of self. Uh, so Dr. O'Hara's product is the lactic acid bacteria, the 12 strains, are used during the fermentation process. They're carefully selected for a purpose during fermentation. The main product as far as Dr. O'Hara's strains go is the Enterococcus faecalis TH10 strain, which is a proprietary strain discovered by Dr. O'Hara and his team of research scientists from Okayama University. That particular strain has a, the highest proteolytic power of any strain known to bacteriologists. And the proteolytic power is defined as the ability of the strain to digest protein. Lactic acid bacteria is strengthened and built by the digesting of protein. Then it forms organic acids, amino acids, and other biogenic nutrients that are good for you. That is what your colon really needs, is more of the organic acids than it really needs the probiotic or the lactic acid bacteria. We all have unique strains, and it appears as though scientists are now starting to say that those strains are stored in your appendix. There's a number of research coming out of Italy and out of uh, Finland which are starting to identify the purpose of the appendix is a storage house for your own unique strains of lactic acid bacteria. And after you take a, say, a therapeutic treatment of antibiotics, they then are supposed to come out and repopulate your colon. In the Western world, because of our food and other ways we misuse ourselves, uh, they don't always do that. And Dr. O'Hears is one of two products worldwide that have a reputation of being able to activate your own unique lactic acid bacteria.